Welcome to our lecture online. So now let's try to figure out this problem where we have a logic gate combination. So what we have here is we have two NOT gates, we have two AND gates, and a NOR gate. And so we have signals going in at A and B, and we're trying to figure out what the output is at Y. And we have four possible combinations. At Y we have a 1010, zero, one, zero, a 0101, zero, one, zero, one, a 0110, and a 1001. One. Which of those four is the correct output given the outputs on A and B? Notice that the first two columns are the same for all four answers. So let's go ahead and put those down for A. So we have a 0, 0, 1, 1. And over here at B we have a 0, 1, 0, 1. Notice that this signal goes through the NOT gate and will also be part of the AND gates. So that means on this side we'll have a 0, 0, 1, 1 going in over here and a 0, 1, 0, 1 going in over here. Now, the other input on the gates comes from the output of the NOT gate. So a NOT gate means you get the opposite of the input. So this becomes a 1, 0, 1, 0 at this end, at this end gate. And over here we'll get a 1, 1, 0, 0. Okay, so now that we have the inputs on the two leads on the AND gate, what comes out of the out? We have a 0 and a 1 that gives us a 0. A 0 and a 0 gives us a 0, a 1 and a 1 gives us a 1, and a 1 and a 0 gives us a 0. So that's the output of the top AND gate. In the bottom AND gate we have a 1 and a 0 gives us a 0, a 1 and a 1 gives us a 1, a 0 and a 0 gives us a 0, and a 0 and a 1 gives us a 0. So now we have the two outputs which are now the two inputs of the NOR gate. Now remember a NOR gate is the opposite of the OR gate. With, if it's an OR gate, then all you have to have is one of the uh, inputs to be a 1, and you'll get a, uh, you'll get a 1 over here. But in an OR gate, you get the opposite. You get nothing. So the only way to get a 1 here is if both are zeros. So 0 and 0 will give us a 1 here because it's a NOR gate. A 0 and a 1 would give us a 1, but since it's a, non, a NOR gate, it'll give us a 0. 1 and a 0 will give us a 0, and a 0 and a 0 will give us a 1. So that's the final output at the Y. Now, which of the four answers gives us a 1, 0, 0, 1? Well, it's not this one, not this one, not this one, but it's this one. So 4 is the correct answer. So you can see, you can run through it pretty quickly if you understand what each of the gates does. And that is how it's done.